What is going on, you lunatics? We are either headed to Valhalla pretty soon, or or we're not. And we just regroup and try again. The reason for that is we're working on this repeg. We're working on all these different processes that go into it. There's an upgrade on the table to update clients and all of these things, all of these are coalescing into something, right? And we don't know really what it is. And listen, when I say all this, this sounds really serious, doesn't it? I mean, it sounds like, oh no, could there be something? Guys, it's very simple here. We're going into a bull run. We're going to find a bull run. We're going to catch a narrative. Some of that narrative will be about a repeg. It'll be the re reduction in supply. Some of that will be about the Juris Protocol and the ability to do lending again and borrowing through the same initiatives <clears throat> as before. Some of these pieces are going to fall into place during this bull run. And guess what's going to happen? You're going to see a quick 20, 30, 40, 50 X on Luna Classic at a minimum. And you're going to be super excited about it because, you know, look, a lot of people thought this was a dead chain. It was not. A lot of people thought it was a zombie chain. It was not. A lot of people thought that Terra Luna or Terraform Labs would come back in and, and maybe pick it back up. They're not. But Terraform Labs is going away, which means that Luna is in the same shape as Luna Classic, and there's no use for both of them. So uh, because this chain exists, because all of these pieces are being put into place, it's going to attract some of those Luna people because it's now an unsupported chain. Now, there could be communities involved, but blah, 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 blah. There's, there's plenty of different uh, potential opportunities and stuff like that. But g guess what? Some people who were there are going to come back over here because it's where they want to be to begin with. Okay, so just bear all this in mind as you're um, listening to people uh, telling you, well, it's not going to happen, bro, and stuff like that, because they have no idea what they're talking about. They're just wildly guessing. And uh, if they got the time, just put it this way, if they've got the time to come over here and start crying in your comment section uh, about this project, they haven't made it. And the reason that they haven't make, made it is because they have a stupid opinion. So just bear that in mind when people are talking bad about Luna Classic at this point. Uh, there's going to be a big a, a big move, a big run. There's a whole lot that will start happening and will start coming to fruition here. But it will take time. Cryptonomy has over 600 digital assets for you to swap, store, and trade. Cryptonomy is doing a giveaway for $1,000 in your fixed staking deposit. You will randomly receive a bonus of between $50 and $5,000. All right, folks, we're going for six months this time. 29.6 APY. Contract has been created. Guys, Cryptonomy at this point should be your main staking platform. And that's because of the dynamic rewards that have been available from the launch pool. Folks, sign up for Cryptonomy.finance today. Start staking, start earning. And the bull run will mask some of that because it will cause a tremendous spike in value. It'll cause a tremendous spike in activity. The, the, the bull run is coming, I guess is what I'm saying. Okay, let's talk about some news and let's wrap this up as quickly as we possibly can today. I talk your ears off every single day. First up, there is a download free Terra Classic UI kit. Now, I've not touched this thing yet, but there is this... Um, uh, David Skinner, if you remember him, he was working on the, the Terra Classic website. Uh, anyway, as a contributor to the Terra Classic ecosystem, I'll be in the power of collaboration, open innovation. Today, I'm proud to announce that I'm making the Terra Classic UI kit publicly available for free to anyone uh, for the community to use. This kit, which includes the UX UI designs originally used in the Terra Classic wallet developed by Strathcole, is a resource for developers and builders who are working to create modern, well-designed applications for our ecosystem. Don't forget, while you're at it, Terra Classic Wallet, this is something that Strathco was working on. Uh, make sure, uh, if you haven't already, you can go check that thing out and, and, and see if you like it or not. But um, this is a few weeks ago, I discovered that Happy Caddy Crypto, one of the largest validators, had been using my design for his Lunk Dash wallet without seeking my consent. Despite earlier assurance from the developer of both wallets, Strathco, that my design would not be used without my approval, it was implemented without my knowledge or permission. Not only did Happy Caddy not seek approval for my work, but during conversion on Telegram, he denied using my design and publicly insulted me. So a little bit of a... Um, something going on here. Um, I guess people are getting catty, if you will. Um, and look, I'm not in the middle of this. I don't really care how this plays out. But uh, to provide transparency, uh, David is now putting this and making this all public 
so that it can be used publicly. And by the way, um, I, I don't know whether Happy Caddy did or did not. That really has no bearing on, on my opinion or, or anything like that. I, I don't know uh, what, what the idea here was or any, I have no idea. Now, when you look at uh, Lunk Dash or, or when you, I'm sorry, when you look at this is the the this is the picture here. This is Lunk Dash. I really don't think they look alike. But if he does, then you know we'll we'll I'm sure we'll be talking about it for a little while. Anyway, so the, the it's now downloadable for free so that anybody can use it. Rather than create a problem, he's created a solution. So check it out if you wish. There's nothing else on Commonwealth right now. Now as far as meme coins go, meme coins getting mad. Uh, Jupiter. Uh, now I have 150 in Jupiter, down to 137, but it's very, very early. Uh, Jupiter, uh, I just put a tweet out on that one. You can go check that out if you are interested. Um, th there's a lot of different, there's one for Mars. There's, you know, a lot of these different, there's one for Uranus, <laughs> Uranus, whatever you call it. Uh, there, There's uh, uh, memes coming out over planets because we're talking about traveling to Mars, stuff like that, with Elon Musk. So, uh, you know, planet planetary memes are, are becoming a new meta. So Jupiter might have an opportunity to take off. The Boys is at 100. Remember, was it, it was at 150. I uh, retraced a little bit, but it was originally at 50. Uh, food is at, uh, was at 50, now it's at 91. Juris was at 50, now it's like 80, 88 here. Uh, Garuda was at 50, now it's at 60. So, you know, some of these things are, are kind of taking Taking off a little bit early on in the ecosystem. We're not at the bull run yet. When we're at the bull run and each one of these 100Xs or 50Xs or just goes absolutely parabolic, what do we do then, right? We all cash out and get rich, right? Um, sun. Anyway, um, so meme coins getting a little vibrant. Juris Protocol, by the way, if you look at Juris over here, it's up pretty big on the day. Remember, they've got a bank lender. Uh, a lot of the pieces that are, are we're looking to be in place here are finally starting to get into place. Uh, their uh, fair dollar value is now 6.78 million, uh, 68,000 in liquidity in this. It's actually you know a lot bigger in the ecosystem than a lot of people have ever thought. So, um, and it's just getting started. All of this is just getting started. This thing is going to blow up at some point. Remember that. Now, let's move on. The upgrade to 3.16 is underway right here. And then the burn for $46 million from Mirror Protocol. Now, that one's not really uh, moving as quickly as people would like. I think a lot of people uh, put in their yes. And this is a happy caddy proposal. And he's not abstaining. He's actually voting yes for it, which actually is what you should do. Like, you, you should be. Uh, but as far as abstain go, there's a lot of abstaining. There's some no with veto. And... You know, uh, there's some no's, so we'll see whether or not this passes or not. Um, again, if, if you're talking about true decentralization, uh, I think the, the proper idea is for it to play out itself. However, uh, it, it, I don't think that this is, this is not a place where you would, in my opinion, this is, this is not a hill that you would climb. So if you're validating based on the vote here and you want to change it because of here, fine. But I don't really think that that's the, you know, I, I think that, um, whatever your opinion on this one is, whatever. I, I, we, we, we should see some of this burn because we don't want to see it re-enter the supply. But also, um, we should be relying on Chris Amani. We should be relying on them to do what they're supposed to do and the bankruptcy courts to be able to verify it. We should be able to rely on all of that to happen. So um, I, I, I don't have an opinion on this one one way or another. I think I've told you that a couple times here. Uh, everybody's just got their own idea of what they think should happen. As far as price action goes, uh, I want to say, uh, what's the word? Oh, yeah, I told you so. Uh, not only are we right now testing uh, the exact spot that I said, hey, oh, by the way, here's this line right here of resistance. Uh, it, not only are we testing that right now, we should be able to break out into this little range right here. Yeah, that's exactly what I said. Huh. To around 96, and then I think we consolidate back at 9. Now, listen, if this market is getting volatile, and it's getting some wind behind its sails, if you will, uh, it, this could easily 3 or 4x. Look, we're, we're sitting really on a powder keg. Now, with this in mind, let's change the structure of what we're looking at here just a tiny bit. I'm going to use a different chart in order to do that. So, if you just grant here that this move has not completed, okay, uh, then what you might be looking at would be something along these lines right here. You could be looking at this move completing and coming up into that 95 range one more time over here. And then you could be looking at this structure right here playing out. You know what? That's an ascending wedge. An ascending wedge is super bullish. 
and the end result of an ascending wedge is boom, breakout towards new highs. So that's really, and, and by the way, this is not exclusive to Luna Classic. There's a lot of charts right now. There's a lot of altcoin charts that are looking like this. So there is a distinct and real possibility that we could be looking at a lot of altcoins breaking out in October and November. This could get crazy, okay? Um, I, I just, and I don't know that will. I, I'm just laying this out here for you to say that, you know, the structure of these charts is starting to change. We're starting to see some kind of potentially explosive moves maybe playing out. Uh, and let's go back to the original chart in this shorter time frame with a, an objective reach here of 3016299, which is about 2x from where we are right now. Not a huge move, but if it survives that test and if it moves up in there, remember, we've still got this descending uh, this descending range right here that we would come up into this and then of course that's the breakout area where we get to three zeros three and then look it, it is entirely possible towards the end of this year as we start to as, as this all this starts to happen that we get a nice little 10x at this point or 11x from here if you will and we get to two zeros one and it is not that far away we should at least recognize that with just a few well-placed updates showing some uh, progress with a, a few nice things in place, we could be looking at an absolute breakout of Luna Classic. Um, the, the chart, that's what the chart tells me is getting ready to happen, right? That's what it looks like. And then of course, you know, the question at that point is if that is the case, and we'll go back down to this other chart again, if that is the case, then, you know, how far uh, does this thing break out? And you know, maybe we're not exactly right here. This could be a little bit more aggressive than what we're saying right here. Like we could be looking at an absolute explosive sort of breakout um, with an idea from the top of the range to the bottom of that range being that this thing could break and do a 2x. Like it, it, it's not a coincidence that it matches up uh, right here because all of this stuff, it's just human sentiment, right? So we could be looking at an absolute breakout up into the 16 range, uh, regaining that zero, an immediate 2x. Uh, and what does that do to all the meme coins, by the way? Because remember, all of these things are paired with Luna Classic. So the, the price of Luna Classic is also, uh, and let's go to Terraport, let's look at this. All, all of these are paired with Luna Classic. So if that's the case, and if Luna Classic price is a Appreciation. Guess what's happening to the rest of the stuff and all these other tokens? The appreciation there uh, is also felt. So, you know, imagine this tiny little wallet that I have right now, 1,493. Imagine if it doubles. Some of those tiny cryptos out there with just a few buyers coming in and more interest coming into this blockchain, you know, a few of those might 5 or 10 or 20x. You never know what's going to happen there. And before you know it, one of those t little $50 uh, situations is now $1,000. And now instead of $1,415, basically $1,500, basically instead of $1,500, which is uh, right up here, uh, instead of $1,500, we're talking about ten, twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 wallet. You know what I mean? Like, it's just that easy. It's just that easy. So, guys, I, I would implore you. Just get yourself just a taste, just a taste of all of these meme coins, just in case. Go over to terraport.finance, connect your wallet, and let's start earning. Just start, just start doing it. Um, also, if you're looking for risk-based gaming, then Terra Casino is your place to go. Giving away 400,000 from Pragmatic Play, giving away 2 million euros from the World Poker League, giving away 1.2 million euros from Evolution Gaming, and you can use Luna Classic, Luna, uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum. There's more coming, by the way, BNB, BUSD, Polygonmatic, Litecoin, uh, USDC, USDT, Dogecoin, and some others, and we'll see a few more of those popping up very very shortly so and, and by the way if you want to you can come down here and you can see that uh, cardano is one of them that you could use matic the, the now called paul uh you've got you can use tron if you want to uh and up oh, we got it never mind it's already been launched xrp so if you want to use your xrp you can use your xrp as well so a lot going on back here uh let's look at burns 258 million over the last seven days. Uh, Lunk Dash again doesn't look anything like the front, like the front. Like I, I don't understand. Um, it, 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 I mean, you could grant that the boxes are rounded and and it looks similar. Uh, and, and by the way, I don't know what the mobile site looks like or anything like that. So um, I'm saying this flying blindly, but you know, on this, it does not look the same. Anyway, and that's not a defense uh, of of Happy Caddy Crypto, and that's not an indictment of 
uh, David, I don't know either one of them personally to the level at which I care, but it doesn't look to me to be the same thing. Now, um, as far as volume goes, we're up 35% in volume to 27 million. Um, market cap up about 5%. We're up 3% on USTC. Uh, volume up 36%. Still just a little enthusiasm starting to happen. So let's talk about our project of the day, and that is Rocket. The first Rocket season has officially ended. Winners receive their prizes, and all the first season players have received an additional 10k gems as a gift uh, by the way i can confirm that because i'm about to show you because uh, i just claimed um, I, I just claimed my uh, thousand you get a thousand a day uh, and then if you haven't go check out uh, at underscore rocket official this is where you go for the game now i'm gonna i'm gonna pop the game up here on the screen right here um, and it's at rocket dash defense with a c.com and then of course you come in here you go to earth and you start and then you just start laying it out, right? So we're gonna move around here uh, just a bit. And what do we wanna do? We wanna build a tower to attack the enemies. We're gonna do one right here. Now remember the last time we did this, uh, they'll start popping up from around. Uh, we wanna build a generator over here to get experience. That's gonna, I think that might provide a little bit of a choke point, if you will. Uh, now I'm gonna get on the other side over here cause I don't wanna get smooshed. Uh, but you can see right now, uh, there we go. Yeah, so we can get right through there. Uh, now all we have to do is continue to earn. Uh, there, the generator wants to give us more experience. I think we're going to hold off on the experience thing right there. Uh, we're going to go for the next one. we got seven seconds left. So guys, if you haven't already, and by the way, let me get you a full screen here. So that you can see this game playing out. You can see this one looks a little bit bigger, a little bit more aggressive. Uh, let's see what happens here. Uh, uh, we're, oh, I'm in trouble. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is not going to end well for me. <laughs> um, all right, so I'm going to, you know, I, I don't know really. Uh, I'm just going to kind of move around here so that I don't get smushed. Uh, but you can see right now I'm kind of, all right. So new features unlocked. Uh, we got another round. Uh, I'm fully healthy uh, at this point, my, my moves. Uh, so anyway, let me hit pause here. Wait, you can't pause. Let's see what skills I have. Um, upgrade health. Upgrade our move speed. Let's upgrade our health. There we go. All right. So we got a little bit of a of a better flow here to it. We move a little bit faster. We got a little bit more health. Uh, now what we need is we're gonna need uh, just enough gems. Uh, enough. Ge whoa. 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 Uh, we need enough gems. That we can put up another fire tower. Uh, that seems to be taking a long time here. Uh, we are in trouble. We are. Ah. Game over. All right. So there you have it, guys. Go check this game out. Go have fun. Remember, this Luna Classic ecosystem is continuing to to grow and thrive. And look, you're gonna uh, you're gonna love the end result of this. Uh, I can assure you of this. Uh, but that's not financial advice. I'm always right. Thank you so much. Go check out Rocket uh, Rocket Defense. I'm gonna play this for a little while right now. Get ready for my show, and we'll talk to you again very very soon.